Welcome back. Ukrainian military intelligence says Russia allegedly told workers at Europe's largest nuclear power plant not to show up to work today. This comes after allegations and speculations from both Russia and Ukraine that an incident was being planned at the plant. Josh Letterman has the latest from Ukraine. Ukrainians in the Zaporizhia region are bracing for a potential nuclear provocation today at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, the largest in Europe, after Russia's military yesterday said they were expecting Ukraine to cause some type of provocation there, which the Ukrainians took to mean Russia itself was actually planning something there and planned to blame it on the Ukrainians. I actually spoke with uh, a member of the Ukrainian military intelligence who told us that Ukraine now has learned that Russia told its own nuclear workers at that plant to stay home, not to come to work today, which is raising more fears that something potentially could happen there as both Ukraine and Russia have been holding nuclear disaster drills in the region to try to prepare for any possible radiation spread. Overnight, we also saw another round of attacks in the northern city of Kharkiv, the second largest city, which Russia has been unable to take successfully since this war started. Those Russian attacks, though, making clear that area of Ukraine still remains vulnerable. Josh Letterman, NBC News, Dnipro, Ukraine. Vanessa Bryan is expected to testify today in the trial over those photos taken at the site of that deadly helicopter crash that killed nine people, including her husband, Kobe Bryan, and daughter, Gianna. Bryan arrived at the federal courthouse in Los Angeles earlier this morning. Her testimony comes in the federal lawsuit for emotional distress against Los Angeles County over the photos that were taken in that tragic scene of 2020, and it was shared by first responders. The defense argues, however, that the photos have not surfaced online during the two and a half years since the crash. All right, so to come here on Local 4 News at noon, we're going to have another check of your forecast.